My name is Paul Little. This poem is about a terrible event in our country's history that affected persons of Japanese ancestry who lived on the West Coast in the spring of 1942. And a surprising connection to that event that I discovered in my own family history. Every spring I see faces. My high school classmates with names like Hayashi, Yoshikawa, Takahashi, Muramoto, Teramoto. Fully engaged in student life, popular, college bound, though mute about the fire that had seared their families. Since college, when I first learned of the camps, I see my classmates as two and a half year olds entering a crowded train station, fascinated by the gathering of relatives and neighbors of shared ancestry, wanting to play, but restrained by elders still stunned by the fury of the hate-fueled firestorm, a wash in the ashes of their livelihoods, personal possessions, and community ties, blown by hot winds towards places and fates unknown. Decades later, a 90-year-old widow's memories add places and more faces to my vision. The train station is in Chico, California. The added faces are a Caucasian man and wife in their early 30s and their two-and-a-half-year-old son. The man, unexpectedly deputized by federal authorities, carries out his duties, registering evacuees, tagging luggage, loading waiting train cars. His wife watches from the shadows and weeps, restraining her son who fidgets, asking unanswerable questions. The widow tells me that the federal man was my dad. The weeping wife was her, and her fidgeting two-and-a-half-year-old was me. Why did dad never speak of this? Why did my classmates not tell their stories? Shame and humiliation are first cousins. Sorrow has many faces. 